We've made lots of noodles. We've made egg noodles. We've made it into pasta. We've used the pasta machine. Um, we made some fettuccine. We made some kind of failed spaghetti. I'm not sure what's going on with the spaghetti. Um, we've not mentioned one of my favorite pastas, and that is ravioli. <sighs> Raviolis are so easy to make, and it is worth it. All right, we've got our sheets out here. And we're going to get rid of this guy. <sighs> Maybe. Oh, I can't find the part before. Okay. using the table just because it's handier. Okay. Ravioli are pretty much like pierogies except they have a different filling and they're kind of a different shape. But really, if you're making them for your family, remember your kitchen, your rules. You make what you want. You put what you want in it. Mashed potatoes are fine. Onions, sauerkraut, you can make them into ravioli and put meat and cheese in them. I don't care if you put peanut butter and jelly in them. I would like to see how that works out. I don't really want to do it, but I would be interested in knowing how you did it. So how are we going to do this? Well, we still got all our noodling crap out here, so um, a lot of people ask me why I can meat. I can burger and chicken and everything. Well, this is a mixture of burger and cheese. Whatever cheese I have in the fridge might be Fiesta blend. I'm not sure, but it was yellow and white and oops. Oh crap. And my family eats it. So that's what's going to go in our ravioli. Okay. This is really not even necessary here. We don't need nearly as much of that. And we're going to start with one of our sheets. It's probably quickly drying out. You can cut these with the pizza cutter and make square raviolis and crimp the sides with forks. It's fine. I happen to have bought these handy dandy nifty ravioli pierogi maker things. And I want to go ahead and use those. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I know. The cutter's on this side. All right. You cut out your shape. These are going to be round. Probably get more from the square one. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if we can get one more. Oops. Okay, so you've got your little round discs, and mine, of course, are are drying out. And here's six of these. They came in three sizes. I got a small one. I've got a larger one than this, and and really, I think this is probably the size I need. Now, I said before. My pasta is drying out a little. I'm just brushing it with a little water. The 
this should make it a little bit stickier so that the ravioli will stick to each other. Whoops. You know, I need to make videos for myself because sometimes I make this stuff and it turns out great and then I cannot remember how I did it. But I love to play with my food. And I'm telling you what, most people that like to play with their food are excellent cooks. Just in my opinion. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I know this one's going to stick to the board eventually, so let's do it first. We're going to grab a fork full of goo. And you could mix this with ricotta cheese. I often make my own ricotta cheese. I think there's a video on that. I just didn't today. And then you press, press the air out. Press the sides down. And what you have kind of resembles a little pastry. I think you're supposed to be able to use that thing on them. Nope, that must be for just the progies. When you do the progies, they're a little different. You use one of these things you put that in the middle, you put your filling in. I believe we did cheese and mashed potatoes, but I know that there's different things you can do. Um, you put it in there like this, put your stuffing in the middle, you wet the edges, Close your little, I always feel like you're putting too much in there. Okay, and you crank it shut. Maybe, get that little lopsided. All right, get in there, give me a good crimp. Oh yeah, that looks pretty now. So it crimped shut. Now with this, probably should use my fork. This is. Uh, you don't want to fill these too fat because they're different um, things are going to happen when you start to boil them. And one of the things is the pasta does thicken a little bit. And you don't want it to come loose and be overstuffed and let all your filling out. But everybody knows how to make a ravioli, right? I mean, you drop it in boiling water and put some sauce on it. Okay, so here we go. We have the progi shaped ones, which you could just make ravioli filling in those. It's not gonna make any difference what your raviolis look like. What happens is you put it what your family likes in it. Your family likes that you've made them ravioli. So there you go, homemade ravioli. And it's uh, much easier than a person would think. I think you can find these little boogers at the dollar tr the dollar store and a lot of other places, yard sales. Nobody ever knows what to do with them. Um, you make your sheets of pasta, and remember the recipe for those it was very simple. Um, for one egg, you put one cup of flour, one half cup of flour for every egg, and a pinch of salt. And then, if you have a pasta roller. You can make all these different things. If you do not have a pasta roller and never knew that you needed one, you might want to think about getting one now because they are so handy to have. I'd say I can do more with the um, sheets than I can do with anything else. I can take those same sheets, roll them out without all the hustle and bustle of using this rolling pin. I can slice them into egg noodles. That's fine. I don't. Just depends you know, how much stamina you want. I can still roll them out in the fettuccine. I think those look store-bought, and I don't appreciate that. I want my homemade noodles to look a little homemade. And um, I want everybody to know I went to a lot of trouble for them. Homemade doesn't mean sloppy. It just means you can tell somebody spent their time being creative. And homemade doesn't mean a lot of work. Sometimes there's a lot of shortcuts you can use. For me, pasta maker, 
bread maker. Um, I've been at this an hour and I've made three different kinds of pasta, four different kinds of pasta and raviolis. And if I'd had my mashed potato stuff ready, I could have made, mm, that's gotta be a ravioli. I could have made um, a nice dish of pierogies. Pierogies don't use as much filling. It's a more of a, the flat ones take a little more filling, so. And that, you know, they're twice the size. That makes a lot of sense. There's my little fork. And you can, you know, press the sides so that they're good and tight. And look very grandma-ish. You know, my grandma didn't make ravioli. But I bet you she'd be proud of me for making ravioli. And there you go raviolis. This is a little time consuming. Get the kids involved. You know, sit here with a friend and make them all day long and, and stick them in the freezer and, and have a stash of them ready to go when you need a quick meal. I guarantee no matter what you put inside of them, they're going to be better than the ones you buy at the store just because you made them. And they're going to be cheaper because, you know, flour, you can get a big 25 pound bag of flour for $6. You can can make this stuff all day long and if you have chickens like I do you're gonna have to try to figure out what to do with those eggs anyway I have so many eggs and this is one good use of them all right it's been fun and I hope that you decided that it, homemade's not so bad if you were intimidated before you know how easy it is have fun with it play with your food enjoy your day Make this stuff ahead of time, freeze it. When, when you get home from work, have a home cooked meal. It looks like you slaved all day over. I'll sit here and make very many different varieties of things on my day off. And um, then during the week we can have them. And it's all homemade and you don't have to go to that much fuss. If you make a week's meals in one day, who knows? Put a couple in the freezer for next week and then the week after that pretty soon you have a very nice variety of homemade meals that you can just whip up in no time at all. One of our next segments is going to be using the pressure cooker, the electric pressure cooker to make millions of different things. I have made yogurt in it, uh, even hamburger helper, six minutes for hamburger helper. You make rice in it. I've canned in it. I have the uh, pressure cooker XL and I really like it. Um, we have a lot to learn and it's fun to play with the food you eat. All right, till next time. It was nice seeing you and we'll talk to you again soon. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. wonder why that happened. <laughs> okay, next time we'll see you.